Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about making millions. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, why do software engineers work for only a few hundred thousand dollars a year while they can program their own software and apps and then make millions instead? Well, because there's more to making millions than just writing some code. That's a bit of I I I, I need I think I might need to unpack that for you a little bit, but you know that an IT company is not just like a bunch of programmers who are sitting together and like having a little LAN party and playing Counter-Strike while eating pizza and doing some coding right when the mood strikes them. Well, unless you work for one of those um, one of those really cool startups. Usually there's more work involved. You see, the thing about making millions uh, in IT is that uh, it doesn't just help that you know how to write an application you actually need to solve the problem that people will pay you millions to solve that is what you need to do and that is extraordinarily difficult do you see like an example would be do you have you can reflected on the fact that a company such as facebook the social media thing is not a new concept and if you look at the social media applications that you're using there's only really a handful of them that are considered to be the main 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 thing there are more and more popping up but at the one point this wasn't the case and creating a social media platform actually is an enormous amount of work and it's actually enormously difficult to monetize it it took a long time before facebook started making any type of money and in the norm actually for most companies, and this is something that may come as a surprise to you, is that the, the average IT startup is not actually profitable for a very long time. You survive uh, on investments from capital investors or other organizations who believe in your idea and they take a share in the company and then the company grows because it's actually that difficult to make money from IT. There's only a, few, a handful of uh, IT companies who actually has a, uh, or has uh, historically had a, a, a business model where they could actually start to monetize things fairly quickly. And an example would be Amazon. Now Amazon uh, was is probably it is I think today it is one uh, the Mr. Bezos or whoever is uh, considered one of the richest people in the world if not the richest person in the world and Amazon is an example of a company that had a business model business model that where this was very sustainable like they had a sustainable business model pretty much uh, from a very early stage because they were actually selling things they were actually selling physical goods and that is tricky. It's tricky to uh, to come up with something where you can do that because I mean shit. If you if you wanted to uh, to make millions off of uh, an application, well then of course you can be a retailer. But it's similar to uh, you mean it's it's like saying why if you don't why don't you start your own shop and sell I don't know clothes or shoes or something like that so that you can get rich. It's the same thing that if, if you ever try to start your own business, because that is in essence what you're doing, you will know that there, there's more to it than just setting up shop and saying, hey, people, come and pay me to buy the things that I'm selling. Most small business owners actually fail because it is a lot of work to make a successful business. It's the same thing for our software developers. The only thing we really have to offer is and like which is a very nice thing as I was saying it depends a little bit because if you were Amazon as an example it's not actually true because you did like um, in the early days they had inventory and they actually had to go through many of the same hurdles as a small business owner for any type of normal store or whatever uh, they, but they had the digital focus early on which was a very good thing uh, for an average pro programmer if you're building an app or say that you're a games developer 
you do you, like there's an entire genre of indie games and for small developers and so forth who like they make a living in some cases but not always and i trust me when i say this go on to a few of these indie conferences and like just hear them out like their journeys and so forth and you will know that most of them they're not rich rich they're not making millions of their games because it takes a lot of time to make a good game and the profit that you gain from it may not be the highest in the world it's the same thing if you're like writing programming books or being an author some people make millions of the thing that they make but most people don't actually make that many sales and it's the same thing for us so if you wanted to make a very successful IT company it's actually more complicated than you just saying hey here's some software that I wrote pay me for it it's actually it has more to do with ident it's it's actually more a business problem than it is a technical problem in many cases i mean the technical problem is definitely a factor because some of the most successful it companies say it, like say for example google uh, their business model became what it is today because they had extraordinarily talented software developers who could create a, solu a technical solution that was a, it is an extremely complicated problem to solve but it was also a high value problem to solve but you have many types of these sorts of problems that you could be solving and the challenge isn't really in many cases at the very least unless you're doing something that is really really cutting edge to find people who know how to solve that technical problem I mean you can spit in the air and find a programmer who can build a web shop as an example but the the real challenge is to to identify that thing the the thing that is going to give people the incentive to pay you for the thing that you made. That is the hard part. That is the di most difficult part in the software development. Everybody, guys, literally everybody has an app ID or a business ID or whatever. That's not hard. It's really easy to find someone who has an ID. And it's in comparison also really easy to find someone who knows how to build the thing. It's harder than having an idea, but to find someone to build it, yeah software developers are rare but they're not so rare that you can't find them the really tri tricky part is to find an idea that you can get paid for that is hard that is damn hard and it requires much more from you than just the fact that you know how to write some software and the average software developer does not want to become at least at very least in the early stages they're they don't want to become an entrepreneur because if you wanted to focus more on the business side of IT you would be an entrepreneur. A software developer is usually somebody who wants to write code and that is not enough usually unless you're extraordinarily lucky to make millions and millions. The most feasible or like yeah the most feasible way for you to actually make a living as a software developer is actually to sell your time as a software developer and to code for somebody else even though you could in theory do something for yourself and make millions but as I was saying it's the same thing as saying that anybody could at any point quit their job right here right now and start up a business a store or whatever and make millions it's uh, as naive as saying that it can absolutely happen but on average most people actually fail uh, starting their own business because it's really hard to be a small business owner so what I want you to take away from this is that the reason why most companies or most software engineers have a job instead of making their own application and making millions is because making millions from software is actually very hard if it's not impossible it can absolutely be done and in many cases it's a lower investment for you than it is for anybody else because at the very least you don't have to front a whole heap of money to buy inventory or other things to to sell uh, you can actually just use your time but even that in of itself is a challenge and it's actually very tricky for you to make a lot of money from software most companies are not especially the startups they're actually not profitable for many years until they find a sustainable business model usually the way it starts out is with investors and that is a lot of work as well the challenge of making much a lot making a lot of money in software is not to find someone who can build the thing unless as I said you're doing something very very complicated the challenge is to find an idea that people will pay you for to find something that is going to be marketable and that's going to be value building for somebody else and they're going to pay you for it and that is much more business oriented than strictly IT related 
and if you want to go ahead and try to do that well you'll find that there's quite a lot of people who are trying to do it but not so many people who are extraordinarily good at it and as a software developer you usually make a decision you feel that you want to do more coding or you want to focus on the technical aspect and the easiest way for you to actually make money from just that desire is to work for somebody but of course you could start your own thing and just go for it I'm not saying that one is better than the other I'm just saying that the norm is that people don't want to go and start their own thing uh, because it actually requires a lot more from you than just writing code have a great day